I am meteorologist Tony Petrock in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this Friday evening about 8 o'clock. A lot to cover in regards to what is still a tropical storm, Henri, expected to become a hurricane overnight into uh, Saturday, though the impacts here are not felt until actually Sunday. Uh, shifts in the in the predicted storm track further to the west has implications as far as who gets what kind of weather. First, the um, the watches and warnings. Area in purple, <clears throat> it is a, um, a hurricane watch, meaning the potential for hurricane force conditions right in here. And then further to the west, coastal Connecticut, Long Island, Long Island Sound right in here, it's a hurricane warning. And the reason why the warning does not extend into Rhode Island, at least not yet, is the track further to the west has a better potential of hurricane force winds here and uh, still the risk of, of hurricane force winds on our own coastal waters, but the risk is higher in the areas in Chop Red. This doesn't mean that we're not getting stormy weather. We do expect strong winds and uh, some power outages and things like that. <coughs> but as far as the terminology of a, of a watch versus a warning, it's just a little likely, more likely out towards uh, coastal Connecticut. Uh, storm surge alert, uh, the areas in red, Actually, it's really for the, the south coast, it, it, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's this far inland. So it's the immediate shoreline, uh, the coastal communities, the Narragansett, Buzzers Bay. So right along the coast, the, uh, the onshore winds, you know, kind of pushing the water towards the coastline and the bay, especially at the time of high tide, which is astronomically high uh, this weekend, and that'll cause a, a storm surge. In other words, a three to f uh, five foot uh, rise in sea level above, actually above uh, water above sea level, and that is the uh, the storm surge. <clears throat> so uh, explaining it another way, it's just you know you take, uh, you know you take the onshore wind and it, it's just pushing the water towards the coastline, and you get this surge, you get this rise in water, which could be anywhere from three to five feet with a Category One hurricane. Uh, so this is something that we'll watch on uh, during the t the high tide cycle on Sunday evening, Sunday. At night. In the meantime, you know, as far as impacts, and it is quiet tonight uh, through Saturday day and even Saturday evening, Saturday night. The wheelhouse of of, of impacts oh, that just went by that graphic. Okay, well, the um, the potential for high impact weather is slated for Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, and into Sunday night, and then gradual improvement on Monday. So that was the purpose of that graphic that kind of skipped by, but it's all centered on Sunday. Quiet across New England under mainly cloudy skies to take you off the coast. And this is uh, Tropical Storm Henri, but it's looking better organized on the satellite photo. We're seeing on the, you know, the cloud structure <coughs> of um, the process of intensification taking place. On the a new update, uh, we believe coming up at 11 o'clock, it may be upgraded to a hurricane, if not, certainly by tomorrow morning. So latest from Hurricane Center, this is actually 8 p.m. data. So we're going every... Um, every six hours on the data. Winds of 70 moving north at 12. So the forecast track taking it uh, due north and into New England on Sunday. And you know the track, this red line is the official forecast track of where the center of the storm will be or track and it's been shifted further west. So this position here is a uh, is category one hurricane uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, eastern Long Island, then crossing coastal Connecticut. So what does that mean by shifting the track further west? <coughs> well, let me get in real close here, show it to you again. So this uh, this shift in the track, um, at one point the landfall was going to be here, then it was going to be here, now it's been moved back to here. But keep in mind that a hurricane is not just a, like a dot on the map, it has width. So the weather extends well beyond where the center makes landfall. But with that said, with the track pulling further west, it tends to... Well, for one, you tend to get the strongest wind on the east side of the storm and the heaviest rain along the track of the storm and, and to the west or to the left of the storm track. So with that said, uh, if there's anything in our favor <coughs> for Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, <coughs> and, well, unfortunately for Connecticut, is that the core of the flooding rains are going to get pushed back central and western Connecticut and right in here, several inches, four, five, six, seven inches of rain. We get rain, we just don't get as much because of that western storm track. But... Even though we don't get uh, the significant flash flooding rain, we do get some of the stronger wind. And how it plays out based on the storm track is that <clears throat> these areas in red, coastal Rhode Island, lower part of the bay, I would say anywhere from Little Compton right down in here, uh, winds of 50, 70 miles per hour. Further inland, 50, 40 to 50, then further north and west, 30, 40. 
this magnitude, especially anything over 40, can, can bring down tree limbs and power lines and power outages. So uh, the, core, in fact, the strongest winds may actually end up being towards the westerly Groton, London, Block Island, and out towards the twin forks of Long Island, New York. Of course, with hurricanes offshore or, or approaching, uh, the waves are building. You can see the wave energy propagating towards the coastline Saturday night and into uh, Sunday. Obviously, dangerous rip currents and, and strong extreme surf. So the, so the storm surge potential, the forecast is a three to five foot storm surge. In other words, the water level three to five feet above sea, uh, normal sea level for Rhode Island Coast, Massachusetts Coast, and Narragansett and Buzzards Bay. So right in here. So this is something we'll watch very closely. The, the tides, the tides are high between eight and nine o'clock in the evening on Sunday. It's low at around three, four o'clock in the afternoon. So, and they're astronomically high. So the reason why we have the storm surge warning for potential coastal flooding. In the meantime, quiet tonight. Saturday is not a high impact day at all. It's a mix of clouds and sunshine, warm and humid. 80s in the morning or low 80s in the morning, mid 80s during the afternoon. Saturday evening is and Saturday night is fairly quiet. And then all eyes on Sunday. So we're taping this as of 8 o'clock. New data coming in at 11. Uh, check back with us. While landfall is still likely on the New England coastline, if this trend of tracking further and further west into Connecticut continues, it's really going to adjust how we're thinking as far as rain and wind here locally for Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So uh, still need to uh, keep an eye on things. All right, that's your latest weather now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.